Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add Stinger transitions to Streamlabs OBS. To briefly explain what a Stinger transition is, it's either a .mov or a .webm file that contains a bit of transparency in it that lets you bridge between different scenes in Streamlabs OBS. For an example, say you're starting your stream and you want to get straight into it and you're going to click in game for example. I added this transition to basically help um, bridge between the starting screen and the in-game one. So to get started, all you're going to do is going to go up to edit scene transitions uh, and then you're going to mark, obviously I've got quite a few, but you'll probably just start off with the global transition or just a very basic transition. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to go onto YouTube and just type in free or if you want to pay for it, uh, Stinger Transitions. Uh, someone that I found on the internet called Nerd or Die, I'd recommend him. He does some amazing Stinger Transitions. I'm even using one over on twitch.tv slash wise underscore media. Uh, shameless plug there, but feel free to head over, guys. I stream pretty much every day. If not, uh, there's a schedule down in the panels on Twitch that you can see and see when I'm streaming. I play with my friends and myself, lots of different games. Uh, yeah, feel free to come over. Uh, so what you're going to do to get started is you're going to click add transition. Uh, you're going to call it, just call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it wise media uh, stinger. Uh, and this is the most crucial part, making sure you are actually on the stinger type. Uh, and then when it comes to duration and transition point, we'll talk about those in a second because they're a bit more situational. So once you've headed over to the browse section, you're going to look over and find whichever one you downloaded or you made yourself. I'm going to add this one. Uh, and then you're just going to, this is the more situational part. So you're going to work out how long you want yours on the screen for, if that's milliseconds or frames. So you're, I'm streaming uh, a 1080p 60 FPS. So if I want to last half a second, I'd do frames and do 30 frames because it'd be uh, half a second. But what I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to go 1000. Uh, basically the transition point is the point where it changes from one scene to another. Uh, and then obviously the duration is how long that's going to be on the screen for. So you've got to make sure it's sort of um, it when the transition finishes is not still showing the other one or it's done it too quickly or something like that. Just make sure you check. And if you're using uh, a stinger with audio in it, sometimes that could be quite cool. Make sure you've got either monitor only, which is where only your audience can hear it and you can't say it. So, you know, you keep having to change transitions every couple minutes um, and you don't want to keep hearing it, it can get annoying and stuff like that. But if you want to hear um, what your transition makes and the, obviously the audience wants to hear it as well, make sure you've got monitor and output selected. Uh, and when it comes to audio fade style, I always put it on crossfade so it goes between both um, uh, both scenes a lot easier. All you're going to do is click done, make sure you've got it selected at the bottom here, you're going to click oh, done, and then say so you're in game, oh, I need to get BRB guys, quickly click that, and then it just beautifully transitions between that. It's such a satisfying thing to watch and it makes your stream look a lot more professional. I you know, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to subscribe and head over to twitch.tv slash wise underscore media. I'll be streaming there hopefully every day. If not, remember to check the description. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching this video. Have a good day, guys, and see you soon. Bye-bye.